A children's hospital in the eastern Ukrainian city of Slavyansk has come under fire as the army shelled a residential area. RT's correspondent Paula Slayer is in the regional capital, which is surrounded by the army. Artillery is again being fired in the eastern Ukrainian town of Slavyansk. Anti-government fighters have been broadcasting via radio, urging residents to take shelter in the basements of their homes and, where possible, to board up their windows with sandbags and anything else that they can get their hands onto. A short time ago, the children's hospital was hit. Now, we understand that the shell hit the admissions section of the hospital. Fortunately, there are no reports of injuries as the children who are still in the hospital were taken taking shelter in a different part of the building. I have just got off the phone with somebody who is at the scene, and he says that doors have been unhinged from the impact of the shell. He also says that there is glass everywhere, that some of the shrapnel is bigger than the size of one's fist. This is what nurses at the scene told us. I've been working here for 30 years. I never thought that one day I'd come to work and find ruins, thanks to our government and our army. We invested so much of our money, repaired everything here, and then suddenly, boom. Now, we're hearing from the country's acting defense minister. He says that there will be a step up in actions. I'm also talking with anti government forces here in the city of Donetsk who say that they're very concerned that in the run up to the ultimatum that the government has placed for Sunday on them to surrender, there is going to be an intensification of fighting. And ultimately, as we see more violence on the ground, so the casualty count is going to climb. That was RT's Paula Slayer.